everyone, I'm Paulette Morrissey from Tulip Square Studio, and today I'm going to show you how to do a, a block that we call knot woven, K-N-O-T, woven, that kind of knot. Um, I don't know if it's one of our own original designs of a block or it's a block that's been around forever, but we've had a couple people kind of intimidated by it, and here is the block, and they're, they think it's a little more complicated than it is, and it really is not a complicated block to do. So I'm just going to do a quick and easy tutorial to show you how to make this block step by step. And when you're making it, you end up actually making two because the pieces are kind of like opposite. So I'm just going to show you how to make this and take the mystery out of it. So let's head over to the sewing machine and get busy. And I'm just using four different designs of green. And um, I like to go light to dark just because it makes it for a nice pattern. And then you're going to need two strips of your accent color. I'm doing red and green because I thought it would make a cute Christmas runner. You're going to need four of each of these and eight of each of these to make this block. So what you're going to do with all these pieces is you're going to sew all the green ones together to make a square. Um, whatever size you make will determine how, you know, you, you need it to be a square. Um, if you want it bigger, you make them longer and you make your strips wider or you add more strips or whatever, but you need to make it be square when you're done. So once you've sewed all those together and you sew all the reds together in pairs and iron everything to the dark sides. Whoops. So you're going to iron to the dark side and you're going to take all of these green squares and you're going to cut them in half diagonally, like so. And you need to make sure you cut them all the same way and they're all sewn in the same order and cut them all this way. Don't cut them this way. It's confusing, but it, it makes a difference. So what you're going to do, you're going to have two triangles like that. And then what you're going to do with those triangles is you're going to sew, let me get this piece out of the way, on the one with the dark stripe, you're going to take your red strip, let's back out just a little bit so we can see everything. On the dark stripe, you're going to sew a red strip to this edge. You got dark to dark. And on these pieces, you're going to take the red and turn it around and sew the lighter strip to the piece with the lighter strip. So when you're done with those, you're going to have half of your pieces like this. You're going to have four pieces that look like this and four pieces that look like this. And then this is the part where people get a little confused when it's time to make the next step. So what you're going to do, and I'm going to come in a little bit closer, and this is really easy once you see how it's done. You're going to take each of these pieces and you're going to take your white triangles and you're going to make sure that when you lay the white triangle here, this bottom edge is parallel with the bottom edge like this. You want to make sure it's not tipped a little bit like this or tipped a little bit like that. It needs to be nice and even. And the placement of it is simply you want, if you turn it over, it's much easier to see. Now I'm going to come in even closer so you can see this. Bottom edge is even, and you want only a quarter of an inch from my finger to this edge, a quarter inch of the white, and here you want it from here to here, only a quarter of an inch. And an easy way to see that is on this ruler, if you can see this black line down the center, that's a quarter of an inch. This whole ruler is half an inch wide, and that's a quarter inch. So if I lay that dark line along the edges, along this edge and this little short edge of the white piece, you can see right there, I would sew right down here and I'd have my quarter inch seam. So um, once you do that, you will sew that and then grab one of these. You're going to you're going to just sew straight down there, and then you it'll look like that. Okay, once you sew it and you turn it to the right side, you're going to have a piece like this. Okay, press your piece, and it doesn't matter really which direction you press it, but you've got this. Okay, and that so that wasn't too difficult, was it? That it just looks a little tricky, but it's not. And then what you're going to do is you're going to sew these pieces together. You're going to take you're going to have two different kinds of pieces, okay? You're going to have the pieces with the dark, 
right here and the pieces with the light right here. So you're going to take four of these and four of these and you're going to sew them together. And I'm going to show you how you sew them together. I'll make sure I've got the same pieces. Okay, so these two are the same. I'm going to sew these together in pairs like this. I'm going to put this here and sew it like that. And I'm going to take two more and do the same thing. So I'm going to sew those and I'll be right back and we'll show you what we do next. Pieces like that. You're going to sew them together. You take one. Uh, turn this way down a little bit. You take one and turn it this way, which is this one. And you take the other one and turn it this way, which is this one. And you sew them together. And then you press it. I, I find it easier to press towards this stripe. It doesn't matter which way you go as long as you do them all the same. And then you do another pair like that. And you get this. And then you sew those together and your square is done. I'll go sew these together quickly and you can see how easy that is to do. Take all the mystery out of this. We'll go sew this together right along here. And you notice right here that this square was not perfect. So I'm going to correct that little seam right there and fix it because it should come up like this. Otherwise, it's kind of going off like that. We don't. So I'm going to restitch that seam real quick and fix it. And then I'm going to sew these together and you can see the finished blocks. Okay. When we're all done, you end up with a block like this with your two halves sewn together. And you also have a block like this. They're kind of opposites each other. This one's got the dark X in the middle. This one's got the lighter X in the middle. So you end up with two different blocks. And it looks kind of like it was a complicated block, but basically all it's done is it was made with some simple strips. So I hope that explains it to everyone, and I hope you have fun making this block. And if you're interested in the pattern, it is number 624, not woven runner. The link is in the description below, and you can check out all our patterns at tulipsquare.com where this one and all our other ones are on there. And we're going to be adding more and more videos to explain a lot more of our patterns and simple blocks and whatever else we can come up with. So I hope you join us regularly. And thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye. Okay, so now we have taken the mystery out of the not woven block. So you all know how to make this. And it does make two of the opposite kind at the same time always. And if you enjoyed that block, you can. we have a pattern that makes placemats using this block. It's called Not Woven. It's number 624. The listing is in the description below. Um, it also makes a nice table runner. It would make a really pretty quilt if you just made these blocks as, as quilt blocks. Um, and that's about all I have to tell you about this block today. So if you like the video, hit the subscribe button below, please, and the like button. And we'll see you again next time. Have a good day.